Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. It's been a while since I played this game, but since the new DLC came out, that's what we're gonna be checking out. And I'm kind of excited because it's been a, such a long time since I played this game. And look at this. We're already like walking into some server. Is this gonna be a rad storm like straight away? Are you kidding me? What is even going on? Okay, Piper is already engaging with someone. That is just absolutely fantastic. Right, we gotta listen to the radio station because that's what it came up with. So if we listen to... Setting here we go. What up? Talk to Ellie. Who the fuck is Ellie? Huh? This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Oh, I remember Ellie now. She was like his assistant from the... Yeah, I, I think I remember her. Cool. So let's travel to Diamond City. I still remember my locations, alright? I'm not I'm not that silly. It's been a while since I played this game, so I might make a few mistakes, but hopefully not. Hopefully it should go smoothly. What the hell? There's mannequins here now? Hold on a minute. I don't remember some of these places. Diamond City changed. And I swear, the graphics changed slightly as well. I think they, they've, like, upped the resolution of some of these textures. Because I do not remember them being as clear as they are. Or maybe I'm just running on better settings or something. What up? What up, Ellie? Stop. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Oh, shit. Ready to put on the detective hat? Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's go. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Wait, is there gonna be more synths involved? I think I read that there's gonna be synths in this DLC. I suppose I'm gonna be on it. <laughs> I got, it I've got no other choice. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Sweet. So we gotta go to the Nakano residence. Piper, are you ready to write another story about a glorious adventure to the far harbor island of, uh, monsters, I assume? That's what, that's why I gathered from the trailer. Let's embark on another adventure, Piper. I'm kind of excited. Not gonna lie, kind of excited to be back in the world of the Fallout. I kind of like didn't play the game at all since I finished my playthrough. I just didn't have time. I was just super busy. But now I've got another excuse to dive deeper into this game. Right, so we gotta go to that house near a coast. Let's have a look where it is. Is that the one? That's the Naka residence. Yes, okay. So we're gonna travel to the museum and then we can walk from there. Holy shit. That is one glorious looking power armor, let me tell you. Oh shit, I remember this place. This was the place where we fought like a death claw that came at me. And I was supposed to like take its egg and like just put it somewhere. And then I killed the person or the death claw that was protecting the egg. That was apparently friendly. But correct me if I'm wrong, the, the person attacked me first, all right? Why do I keep calling a person the death claw? It's late. It's like to... The fuck is that? Who are you? I don't remember you before. Holy shit. It's been a while since I fought. Okay, we've got some... <laughs> We're back back in the combat and I'm already missing my shots, which is not ideal. Let me tell you the hell is that? Was that like one of the mutated dolphin looking things? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Piper. Let's just keep on moving There's another rod storm coming, which is just amazing. Luckily, I brought my power armor You didn't because you're a silly goose. You're a silly sausage Piper. Do we have to? Where the hell? It's on the other side, isn't it? Oh Shit, okay, we gotta cross. You know what Piper? I'm gonna cross this with my amazing looking jetpack I hope you're okay. There's there's uh gunshots and everything <laughs> Peace out. Oh shit That did not work. That did not work very well gooey slimy Radiated lakes not the best luckily. I remembered I have like a flashlight. Holy shit. Okay This is looking pretty cool so far, right? So where do we go from here? I think we just how the hell did I fit on this little railing thing? I can't see anything Apparently, Piper disliked that. You know what, Piper? Just because you went for a little bit of a dip in our radiated lake, that doesn't mean you have to complain about it. We're going on a grand adventure to, to the edge of the world and beyond, obviously, right? Am I am I mistaken? Probably. I'm probably wrong. <clears throat> the fuck is that? Is that Codsworth? Is that one of the assholes that is going to try and attack me? You know what? We're going we're gonna to find out. We're going to find out once we get close. What up, Cody? What's up, Cody boy? What the- What the hell did you do here? Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew you were hostile. You know what? <laughs> oh, my HP is so low. Holy shit, he did so much damage to me. I forgot to check my health. I'll need some of that. I'll need some dirty water. I'll eat this. Shit, 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 shit. Vats, let's use vats. 
No, 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 no. Piper is down already. Great fucking job, Piper. Yes, I hit him. I hit him. He should be blind. I took out his eye. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's gonna blow. That's gonna blow. Fuck you. No, I will not let you kill me. Come on. Hit him. Yes. Wait, is he blind now? He's definitely not blind. He's still shooting. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> so low. So low. My first encounter with an enemy, technically. <gasps> yes. Okay. Got him. Nailed him. Nailed him to the wall. Are you okay there, Piper? You know what? I'm not gonna stim pack you. You know why? Because you don't deserve it. Number seven. Is that my stim pack? It was. Fantastic. Let's go. It's quite cool because recently I just like started watching like the Big Bang Theory and like Dexter and everything. And Piper was in both of those. The, the actress who like voiced her, which was kind of amazing. Kind of really cool to see. So a little thing for you guys, a little fact of the day. If you're interested in that uh, sort of shit, you know. There's some ghouls. They're not ghouls. They're mutants. Super mutants. That's the one. All right. I can climb these, right? <gasps> It was a close one, but I've done it. I'm using so many of my, my fusion cores, which is not the best. Not the best, let me tell you. Holy shit, this mansion is like so far out. We are truly traveling to the end of the world and beyond, Piper. So I hope you're excited. Piper? Where did you go? Oh shit. That's like a legendary ghoul right there. Whatever they're called. I think they're called legendary ghouls. I don't know anymore. Oh, is that the mansion we're coming across? I think so. Look at this. This actually looks pretty cool. Is this the boat we're gonna get on? I'm actually so excited. I hope there's like a dank ass cutscene that's gonna take us to the far harbor. That would be kind of like. Come in. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. Is that Arnold? For hours. Stop. Arnold? Sleep. Arnold, my friend? Who has her? What? How you doing? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Listen, I'm actually here to help. So, uh, Valentine's Detective Agency. It's me. Valentine's How you doing? Agency. You asked for help. Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Your story with Nick? So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip, but we oh, got out. Oh shit! And now my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. Okay, so I suppose make this quick. I'm here to help. I'll be nice. I'll be nice to people in this playthrough. Thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made Wait, contact what? with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... Why are we always Maybe looking for like sons and daughters in no. this game? <laughs> is that the new Bethesda fetish? She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. He's quite chubby on the cheeks. <laughs> Ask for money? Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's talk money. <laughs> Investigations for the missing aren't Oh god. Of course. Oh. How does 350 Oh about? shit. 350? Oh, Hell fine. yeah. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Sure. So we gotta investigate the area upstairs. Fantastic. So, uh, which one was her room? Was it this one? I I blood I bloody hope so. It doesn't it doesn't look like there's much on the, on the inside here. Nope. I believe this is gonna be her room. It's way more interesting. He has a kitty on. Oh shit. Some some rocket ships and everything. A lot of cats. A lot of cats around here, which is quite good. Okay. Wonderful. You know what? I'll actually take that. That will come in handy, obviously for my investigation. Oh shit. We can Project play that. Log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Okay, I know what it is. I'm just gonna call it right now. She's a synth. 
Let's be honest, she's a synth, they they replaced her, she's, she's a synth, and now they're calling her. They're calling her to come back home. Yep, I completely cracked the case right now. Alright, let's talk to these two guys and just tell them, yep, case closed, we've done it. What's this up? I What's up, Ray? You have questions about my daughter. I actually do, yeah. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Wait, tell me Every what's wrong. You gotta tell me. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting oh, fucking a charisma, now. man. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Okay, uh, her radio. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. Okay. Nothing else right now. Right. So do we have to talk to that guy? Probably not. Let's go and investigate the boat house, which is like around the back. Just, just fantastic. I have a feeling like her grandfather could have been a robot as well, and that's why they're like super keen on fixing things because. They're both robots, so they like that sort of shit, you know? Who knows? Who knows anymore? Uh, hello? Is there anyone here? Do we gotta, like, investigate some cables, wires, any clues? <gasps> what the hell is that? Okay, it's a fuse. I don't think that's gonna come in handy. Oh, shit. A safe! Are you kidding me? Piper, can you, can you, uh... Should we read this? My dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here. In the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Huh. Picture. Hmm, is this a riddle? <laughs> um, hold on a minute. Is it, is it in this boat? Is it in this boat somewhere? Is it like somewhere super obvious? Picture, oh yes. Hold on, it's gonna be around here somewhere, right? Picture frame, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. All right, now we can open it, fantastic. Look at this, we've got another holo tape. let's play it. Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They have told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Hmm. So does she know she's a synth, or does she only suspect? I'm not quite sure. You know what, let's just talk to this guy. I think he's gonna take me to Far Harbor now. Let's go. What up, buddy? Uh... Your investigation? uh find anything? Pretty much, yeah. Far Harbor, take I me there I now. Please. <laughs> Place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north. God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. Oh, you've got you have to one. go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I don't know if I should tell them. Group of Sims is okay. I let's ask them. Ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? 
What kind of question is that? Yeah, they have Why no idea. Asking? Okay, Your group of synths. contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. <gasps> she's oh. not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... What if she just thinks she's her. a synth, but she's, she's not? Blood, not a she's like a rebellious teenager, even though she's an adult now. Maybe she's confused, exactly. Is just confused. They're having an identity crisis. Oh god. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. A final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. Jeez, I'll take it. You have so many ships, man. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Oh, oh hell yeah. Tell the Brotherhood about the synth rep. Oh, no. Do I want to involve the Brotherhood? Oh, no. I don't think I do. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna do this low-key. Off records, Piper. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Just nod. Just do something. Don't turn around like that, Piper. We we've been through so much shit together, and you just you just treat me like trash. Okay, get on board, Piper. Make yourself comfortable. We're going to Far Harbor. Let's go. Oh shit! Look at this. <gasps> we've got a cat on board. Okay, you're coming with us. I'm gonna name you Nelly after my cat, and you're gonna come on this adventure with us. You're gonna be our cat on board of this fabulous vessel. Oh god, are you okay over there? Are you are you okay? Just don't get lost, please. Don't don't get teleported away. Where the hell is Piper? Piper? Hello? Shit. I lost all of my companions. Oh shit, look at this! We're getting close now. Oh yes, I'm excited. I'm excited to set foot in Far Harbor. We still lost Piper. I have no idea where Piper is. Are all these like crashed sh vessels? crashed ships. I'm pretty sure that says welcome to Far Harbor. Yep, that that is it. And look at this, a mysterious creepy looking island. Isn't that just amazing? And some sort of like a weird light source as well. Probably synths, let's be honest, but probably like recycled synths. Oh shit, can we make like a settlement here? How cool would that be? Oh my god, look at this place. Look how awesome it looks. Far from home. Fantastic. All right, so guys, I think I'm just gonna leave it here for the first episode of Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC. So join me next time as we continue. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.